Can you believe it, folks? Some absolutely huge news just broke about social security payments and stimulus checks. I'm sure many of you have been struggling financially, especially our senior citizens on fixed incomes. Well, get ready, because major relief is on the way. Yes, you heard that right on February 9th, just a few days from now, seniors will start getting massive $2,600 direct deposits right into their bank accounts. This is not a drill, this is really happening thanks to an exciting new bill that was just passed to significantly raise Social Security benefits. I don't know about you, but this is the best news I've heard in a long time. $2,600 is a game changer for so many retirees and elderly folks who have been scraping by on inadequate Social Security payments up until now. Just imagine one day you're barely making ends meet, and the next you've got an extra $2,600 in your bank account to help cover expenses and actually live a little more comfortably. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering, what's the story behind this sudden windfall for seniors? Well, it all comes down to the Social Security 2100 Act, a new bill that was passed with overwhelming bipartisan support in Congress. This landmark legislation dramatically increases Social Security benefits by about 25% across the board. It also permanently ties Social Security cost of living adjustments to inflation so benefits maintain their purchasing power over time. And the great news is, the very first payments at these higher levels will start hitting bank accounts on February 9th less than a week away. So if you're a senior citizen who currently receives Social Security, get ready for a major boost to your monthly checks. Instead of the average $1,500 per month most retirees get now, your new payments will be around $2,600 or even more. Just imagine what you can do with that kind of extra money coming in. Now in the next section of this video, I want to provide more details on exactly who qualifies for this exciting Social Security increase and how you can make sure you get the full $2,600 payment. But first, do me a favor and hit that like button to show your support for this great news. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future stimulus check updates. I'll be right back after this quick break with all the info you need to get the full $2,600 payment. Transition Alright, I'm back and now let's dive into the specifics on this historic Social Security benefits increase so you know exactly what to expect. First off, who qualifies for the new $2,600 monthly payments? Well, the great news is that all current Social Security beneficiaries will automatically get the boosted payments, regardless of your work history or what kind of Social Security you receive. Whether you get regular retirement benefits, disability benefits, or survivor's benefits, your monthly checks will soon go up by about $1,100 for individuals or $2,600 for couples. You don't have to do anything special to get this raise, it will happen automatically once the Social Security Administration updates their system. Now, the exact amount of your increase will vary depending on what kind of Social Security you currently receive. But on average, most individual seniors can expect around a 25% raise, bringing the typical $1,500 payment up to $2,000 or more. To figure out your specific benefit amount, you can log into your Social Security account on ssa.gov once the new levels are in effect. Speaking of timing, when exactly will the $2,600 monthly Social Security payments hit bank accounts? As I mentioned earlier, the very first deposits at the new higher rate will go out on February 9th. After that, the boosted payments will continue being paid out on regular Social Security schedule generally the second Wednesday of each month. So if your normal monthly deposit is on the 15th, you'll get your first $2,600 payment on February 15th. Check your Social Security account portal on ssa.gov to see your exact payment schedule. The main point is that higher payments are coming for all very soon. Now, in addition to seniors and retirees, Social Security disability recipients will also get the boosted $2,600 monthly payments automatically. If you currently receive SSDI, you don't have to do anything Social Security will raise your benefits automatically based on the new law. For widows, widowers, and other survivors' beneficiaries, your higher payments should hit bank accounts by mid-February as well. All you need to do is make sure Social Security has your current contact info and payment details so they can get the money to you without delay. And for supplemental security income recipients, increased federal payments of $2,600 are also slated to start going out by mid-February, so be on the lookout in your bank account. No action is required on your part. 
The bottom line is that all Social Security beneficiaries across the board are getting this major raise of around $1,100 per month for individuals or $2,600 for couples. And the SSA will take care of raising your benefits automatically in the next few weeks. Just be sure to update your contact info if you've moved recently. Transition All right, we just went over who qualifies for the exciting new $2,600 Social Security monthly payments set to start hitting bank accounts February 9th and beyond. Next, I want to give you some tips on how to make sure you receive the full amount you're entitled to. The Social Security Administration will be working hard to update their systems and get these substantially increased checks out to all beneficiaries quickly and automatically. But it never hurts to take proactive steps on your end as well to be sure the process goes smoothly. Here are three tips to ensure you get the maximum $2,600 payment. Log into your Social Security account online at ssa.gov to verify that all your personal information is correct, including contact details and bank account deposits numbers. This will prevent any delays in processing your higher payments. Check the Social Security Statements section of your account to see your projected new benefit level based on the recent legislation. This will give you an estimate of the amount you qualify for. If you received any income last year from wages, self-employment, investments, or retirement accounts, be sure to report it to Social Security when you file your taxes. This can affect your final benefit amount. The higher your reported earnings, the higher your payments. Following these simple steps will help guarantee you get the full $2,600 you're owed on time. The Social Security Administration is working hard to transfer over to the new higher payment levels, so double-checking your account details will ensure the process goes smoothly. And remember, the first round of boosted $2,600 Social Security payments are slated to hit bank accounts on February 9th, just days from now. So keep an eye on your account for the much-needed increase. It may take a few months for all beneficiaries to get transferred to the higher amount, but significant relief is definitely on the horizon thanks to the Social Security 2100 Act. This is such welcome news for seniors and others who rely on Social Security. $2,600 a month can go a long way to improving quality of life. My hope is this video helps everyone qualify for the increase get the full benefits they deserve as soon as possible. As many of you know, Social Security benefits are paid out on the first of each month to recipients. Well, the big news is that starting this month, beneficiaries will be receiving larger checks. That's right, your Social Security checks are going up in 2024. Specifically, the maximum monthly payment for an individual beneficiary is increasing from $914 to $943 per month. For married couples who both receive benefits, their maximum total payment is going up from $1,371 to $1,415 per month. This increase is great news for the millions of Americans who rely on their Social Security benefits to help cover their living expenses. With inflation still running higher than normal, this boost will provide much-needed relief. Now I know what you might be thinking why are the Social Security payments increasing this year? Well, there are a few reasons. First, Social Security benefits are adjusted each year based on changes in the cost of living as measured by the Consumer Price Index. With inflation coming in at 6.5% in 2023, Social Security payments are being increased by 5.9% for 2024 to help benefits keep pace. In addition, average wages have gone up nationally, which is another factor used to calculate the annual adjustment. Higher average wages tend to increase the amount of Social Security benefits. The bottom line is that this year's Social Security cost of living adjustment is the largest increase in over 40 years. So beneficiaries definitely have something extra to look forward to in their February checks. Now let's talk details. When can you expect this larger payment? For those who receive Social Security benefits, the increased checks will start being paid out beginning today February 1 Saint since the 1 ST falls on a Wednesday this month, Payments started going out at the end of last week on Friday, January 27 th. Going forward, recipients can count on seeing these new higher amounts on the 1 ST of each month. Just remember that if the 1 ST falls on a weekend or holiday, you'll get your benefits on the previous business day instead. One thing to note is that not all beneficiaries will see the maximum increase I mentioned earlier. The percent increase is applied to your specific benefit amount, so it will vary. But the great news is that everyone's payments are going up. All right, 
So that covers the social security side of things. Now what about stimulus checks? I know you're all curious if there are any additional pandemic relief payments coming in 2024. Unfortunately, there are currently no plans for widespread federal stimulus checks this year like we saw in 2020 and 2021. However, some states and cities are taking matters into their own hands. For example, we've seen new state-level stimulus programs recently approved in California and Hawaii. Certain cities like Chicago and Seattle have also enacted guaranteed income pilots to provide recurring payments to low-income residents. While not full federal stimulus checks, these types of targeted relief payments can certainly help in this time of high inflation. So make sure to check if any are available in your state or city, as eligibility requirements vary widely. We'll have to wait and see if any more federal stimulus materializes later in the year. Much depends on how the economy fares and if political winds shift. But for now, the Social Security increase is the main boost most Americans can count on. I want to now shift gears and talk about who exactly qualifies for Social Security benefits. This is really important information if you want to take advantage of this month's increased payments. In general, you need to have worked and paid Social Security taxes for at least 10 years to qualify for retirement benefits. Most people become eligible starting at age 62, but full retirement age is between 66 and 67 depending on your birth year. If you take benefits earlier than full retirement age, your monthly amount will be permanently reduced. So make sure to plan ahead. Aside from retirement benefits, Social Security also provides support to disabled Americans who can no longer work. There are also survivor benefits available to widows, widowers, and dependent children. So Social Security really serves as a critical safety net for millions of people. If you think you or a loved one may be eligible for benefits, I highly recommend visiting the Social Security Administration website to learn more and apply.